As I'm recording this video, WordPress 6.3 has just been made available for public download and install, which brings me to the topic of this video. Whenever a new update of WordPress comes out, you must be asking yourself or you should be asking yourself, should I update to the latest version of WordPress? Let me answer that question for you once and for all in this video. Let me answer the should part of the equation first. Should you be updating to the latest version of WordPress? The answer is absolutely. You should be updating to the latest version of WordPress because whenever a new version of WordPress comes out, it includes performance improvements, security updates, bug fixes, new features, which are all great benefits. So you should be updating to the latest version of WordPress. That answers the should part of the equation. Let me answer the how part of the equation. So before you jump right in, click that update link, get the latest version of WordPress. Let's ensure two things are in place and everything is all good to go. The first is always create a backup before you update. Usually nothing goes wrong when updating WordPress, but backups are as an industry standard practice for a good reason. So make sure to explicitly backup your website before updating the latest version. If you don't know how, there's a link in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment where you learn how to backup your website. Follow that. The second thing you need to ensure is that all your themes and plugins are also compatible with the recent release of WordPress. It's very easy to confirm that. If the plugin or theme in question has been downloaded from the WordPress repository, you can go to the plugins page and just find the logs there. And most of the time, it'll have a note from the developer saying if it is compatible with the recent release of WordPress. And if the plugin or theme has been downloaded from a third party website, I'd suggest you go into the account or go to the public logs available and ensure that the compatibility has been confirmed. And once you confirm it for all your themes and plugins, I'll still recommend that you create a staging version of your website so you can check the compatibility of your themes and plugins manually before updating to the live website. And in this video, I'll teach you exactly how to create a staging version of your website. Happy updating to the latest version of WordPress. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe. Take care.